Dear students, dear colleagues, welcome to Romania's Internet Domain. I will start with a question. Do you realize how the world would have functioned 30 years ago with such a severe pandemic? We have now the IT technology everywhere, mainly developed in these last three decades, which makes all aspects of the economy work and the lives of our people on this world can go on as they normally would. Do you realize that mathematics has been the heart of this magnificent instrument? We are together these days, students and mathematicians from 17 countries to celebrate mathematics in our way. Mathematics, the root of all knowledge of our world. I wish you a wonderful and successful BMO 2020. Hi, friends of Balkan Mathematical Olympiad, wherever you are. My name is Katarin Gerge, and I am not here 
as the president of the organizing committee of this pretty strange and unusual Balkan Mathematical Olympiad. But I'm here to recall to those which attended the closing ceremony last year in Chisinau, the closing ceremony of Balkan Mathematical Olympiad in Moldova, to recall that we discussed about the famous, the pretty famous conjecture, Catalan conjecture. And I told you that this conjecture was proved by a Romanian professor, a very good friend of mine, Preda Mihailescu. And I told you that I will ask him to join our Olympiad this year, to join the Balkan Mathematical Olympiad hosted in Romania. Unfortunately, he was not able to be with you face to face, but I ask Predam to address you a few words at this opening ceremony. Preda now is professor at Göttingen University and a good news is that he recorded a lesson especially for you, especially for all the participants of this Balkan Mathematical Olympiad, a lesson related to Catalan conjecture and not only. And this, this lesson will be available on the official site of uh, BMO during the competition. Good luck to all of you, my dear friends. Okay, so good day, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are and at what time of day uh, I'm starting. This is my first experiment of this kind of remote conference uh, and I'm talking to you who are going to compete in this Balkan uh, mathematical competition and I greet you all. I wish you good spirit during these days of the competition. Uh, enjoy the company, if it's virtual or uh, real time, I do not know. Remember that you are from the most privileged part of Europe, this area of Balkan, which shares so many legends and music and food, Mitite, Kebabcic, Suvlaki, Musaka and all this kind of similar and the culture has intersections that are very broad, it's all Balkan and it has a lot of nations, seven, eight nations, very different and every single one is the real birth place of Balkan culture and it is in name of this that you will bravely compete for your own nation and display your mathematical talents in this competition and wish to achieve good results, which I also wish to all of you. But most of all, beyond this uh, trade of the day, uh, you should know that you, it's not so important if you bring medals to your beloved country or if you stay more to the back, uh, there's nothing like really losing in mathematics because you learn to use your mental capacities, those ones which uh, have certainly to a big extent already lifted you above this uh, small competitions of whose Musaka is better in our part of the continent and it will continue to all help you discern in this changing world and use your uh, logical senses. As so the thing that I may add to that, along with my wishes for uh, good uh, 
uh, mood and spirit during the times of work is uh, to let you know that it will be the next important achievement in your life when you learn to use the uh, very valuable skills you developed in uh, preparing for mathematical competitions uh, to tackle questions that you are able to ask yourselves. This is going to accompany during your whole life the capacity to take questions that you ask yourself serious and use your uh, formal skills of mathematics to uh, try to analyze them in a serious way also. This is what a uh, few other disciplines uh, prepare people for, and this will be uh, a quality of your through life. And I hope you will enjoy that, uh, doing that. Um, and uh, I can, after this introduction, only add that I'm, it's a little bit a sad situation that we are all in one other spot in the world and are uh, interconnected uh, in this kind of artificial way, which uh, is what we are left to think of as something actually very positive because we can nevertheless have contact to each other. But it's a little bit a castrated contact because I don't see you here, I don't feel you here, I imagine you here. And I hope you will imagine my being in Göttingen and talking to you. We are like birds, we are talking online like birds on the wire. And that is why I asked the organizers of the conference at the end of this introduction of mine, after which I will give you a mathematical talk. So at the end of this introduction, I want them to play like a bird on the wire of uh, Leonard Cohen. Uh, and uh, give you this message in the times of Corona, which end with, uh, you know, you have to walk around like this, and you have to learn not to walk around like this, which some people in some periods of time wished from people, and we want that never to happen again. That's why we should, like a bird on the wire, try to be free. This is my last message for you, and I wish you good luck. Valentin. Dimitru. Mihai. Da. Adelina. Valeriu. Valeriu. Vladimir. Stanislav. Hai, Moldova!
Greetings from Cradle of Civilizations. Turkey.